Hello everybody and welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. Today we are doing another 19 crimes. And why do I say another 19 crimes? Because I have done a review on every single 19 crimes. This 19 crimes, the rosé, is going to, I'm going to have the playlist for the rosé blush wines attached to this video. Um, I'll do the red too. And that's where all the rest of the, uh, well, 19 crimes are. But then again, they made a Chardonnay, so there's one under white. <laughs> but I've done them all. Um, from Australia, and the thing about these wines, let me show you. The, uh, it's pretty, isn't it? I already had some. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that. Um, these have interactive labels, all right? So if I get out of the way, maybe that'll focus. Oh, maybe it won't. Um, come on, what, are you kidding me? When did you start acting up? Anyway, you uh, download the app, put your phone up to this, and this person will talk and tell you a little about himself. It's pretty cool. This is 2019, 30% ABV. It has Riesling, Shiraz, or Syrah, same grape. Uh, Australians like to call it Syrahs, uh, Shiraz. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, Chardonnay and Grenache. It's a heck of everything but the kitchen sink of this. It's got a frosted bottle and uh, it's pretty cool. The, the whole concept behind the 19 crimes wine from Australia is that there was 19 crimes back in the, a long time ago in English history and if you were convicted of any of those crimes you got banished to Australia. And they all came with collector's corks. Now this one has a corkscrew, like a lot of wines from Australia, but their thing was, you know, where they had to, and it had the crime on it. So like I said, I've done them all. Um, and I'm excited to do this one, the rosé. So like I say, they're all reds, except for the rosé, and they have a Chardonnay so far. And they have one that was even aged in a rum barrel. Yeah, very good. So let's go with this. Now I had a glass earlier. I'm going to explain it to you here in a minute. There it is. Out of the frost, frosted glass. Look at that. Look at that. Nice coral. Nice coral color. color. Alright, let's put the, let's put the cap back on. Now what I'm doing is, uh, I already mentioned some of my playlists. I've got probably 50 uh, review beers, wines, <clears throat> coffee, tea, and every kind of uh, alcoholic beverage. And things made from alcoholic beverages, foods, candies. And I haven't broken down playlists, so it's easy to find stuff and find something you might be interested in. So check out those playlists. Give me a subscribe, okay, and hit the bell. You'll get all my notifications, but you're not going to look at everything. You're going to look, and then something's going to jump out of you and look like you've got to see it. And then those are the things you um, look at. And uh, the uh, subscription just helps me keep going. You know, it just, it just. It's just motivating. It's motivating. I will do the rest now. Here it is. Let's give it a smell. So it's it's got the typical um, floral and fruity notes. Now this isn't well. Let me we'll taste it first. I've already tasted it, but I want to jump ahead of the video here. So. Uh, Floral notes, fruity notes, light fruits, right? Kind of like the color. Where you're getting uh, different people can describe different things. But some of the things you might pick out of this are melons, watermelon. Uh, might pick out some apples, strawberries, cherries, that sort of thing. And like I say, a, a floral hint to it. All right. So here's the key. So I had this real cold, way too cold, but it's a rosé, you kind of want a little cool. And it was horrible. Okay, it was terrible. Um, it was bitter. There was no fruit, no sweet, nothing. It was just terrible. And I thought, my God. So I let it sit out and I tried it again because I had to. I was even going to review it. And now here it is. Um, it's already, you know, I've tasted it, warmed up. So Warmed up, I mean slightly chilled, like room temperature and put it in the refrigerator for like 15 minutes. That's it. Now, you get those good smells because it's not closed up from the cold. And the taste is so much better. So, 
the tip of your tongue, the first thing that, that part of your mouth that things pass is how you detect sweetness. And so now that's the first thing I am detecting some sweetness. This isn't like an American um, blush wine or white Zinfandel. It's not that sweet, okay? But yet it's not a uh, anything made like in the French style, where it's nice. Well, I say nice because I like the, but really dry. Uh, it's in between. So try it again. Now I'm going to describe as it passed the tip of my tongue. And I get the initial sweetness. Sides of tongues where you get the acid and I get a little acidity. And you want a little, or I like a little more acidity in my whites and my rosés because eh, it tastes refreshing. Kind of like lemonade or why they put acid in soda and stuff like that. Um, and you get a little, I feel on the side of my mouth, a little bit of watering. And then as it passes over the, uh, over the, over the back of my tongue, you know, I'm getting the fruits now. I'm getting the same fruits I described earlier. And you might get them. The main thing is that you're going to get fruit. What fruits, that, that everybody's a little different in everybody's perception and, you know, what their memories are of different fruits, what kind of melon or cherry or apple or pear or peach or strawberry. But the point is, you you get fruits, we're on the same page, okay? I mean, um, you get earth and leaves and mushrooms, then we're, we're way off from each other. So I think you're going to get the fruits, all right? Uh, and a little bit of sweetness, but not crazy. Get the fruits, a little bit of acid, and then the back you get a little bitterness to what I would describe as a mm, a grapefruit um, peel, which isn't the greatest taste, but it's it's not bad. It combines with everything. It's in, a lot of lines will give you that. So that's the way I would describe this. Uh, value is real good. I, I don't even know what I paid. It wasn't much, but I saw it. I had to buy it. I mean. Um, I think you might be able to get the, who knows, people get sometimes really cheap. Um, but we'll just say, whew, mm, I, I, I don't want to guess, this is $12 should be okay. Now you might find this, you know, $9.99, hell, you might get it lower than that. You might find it for 15 I don't know. Uh, I probably paid around 12 or under, okay? But everybody's going to be different where they're, where they're at. sets it so I like the company I like the idea I like the now the last one I did uh, kind of odd because all these have actual criminals pictures of criminals from Australia that actually deported I mean from England that were actually deported to Australia and they all have the, what they call the collectible corks this one has a screw top it's fine I like the collectible cork idea but the screw tops I have no problem with the screw top on the line uh, makes it easy to open and reseal um but what was odd was the last one I did, which is Cali Red, which actually had an American on it, Snoop Dogg, a rapper, and kind of didn't fit with the whole premise. But I think he is invested uh, in the company a little bit, and then so they, I guess, threw a bone to him, um, and maybe bring in some more customers with him. Uh, just odd, you know, with the premise of the, uh, and his uh, cork just had a picture of him on it. Of course, he's been charged with murder. Uh, did not get convicted of it. I think he pled guilty to a uh, weapons charge. Uh, I personally wouldn't want to be on the cover of one of these uh, labels, uh, you know. But it's fun, and um, I don't know, you know. Um, if you're going to a Halloween party, uh, dressed as a, a criminal or a famous criminal, a policeman, a jailer, or something like that, a prison guard, you'd be fun to bring this. Uh, know anybody getting out of jail and you're going to celebrate? There you go. You want to be funny? Uh, you know somebody who's in uh, law enforcement? Once again. Uh, so there's different, uh, aside from just being, um, you know, a nice, inexpensive, tasty wine uh, and a nice series, there's other reasons where this would make a good gift. Um, or something different, you know. So, um, this is the 19 Crimes Revolutionary Rosé, everybody, from, I believe, um, Southeastern Australia. 
And I, my friends, will see you on the next one. Rest assured, I will keep up with all these 19 crimes. If they come out with any 19 crimes, I'm going to be all over. All right? All right, everybody. See you on the next one.